Okay, so this morning we've got Paul Whaley here. Paul has developed a mathematical formula where he can prove, well, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that Alabama's going to beat Tennessee this weekend through mathematics. So, Paul, why don't you go ahead and show us this right quick. Thank you, Greg. So, being a Mississippi State fan and having absolutely nothing to root for, I've had a lot of time to actually think about this. So, I believe I've come up with a mathematical formula convincing everyone why it's impossible to beat Alabama. Let me tell you why. Mathematically speaking, let's just use X's and O's, football terminology. Let me show you what we're talking about here. So, let's just go with... Just for an example, let's go with X's and O's. We'll just say five X's across the board. When you're playing Alabama, you've got to understand they've got five star athletes at every position on the field. But here's the difference with Alabama and anybody else. Not only do they have five stars at every single position, they have three deep five stars at every position. So when you look at it, you got five stars starting, five star coming in. You've got a five star here. We'll come back to that here in a minute. You've got a team like Tennessee, for example, We'll use O for them. Uh, no reason why we're using zero there, but uh, that's what that is. All right, so you've got Tennessee, which is a pretty good team in the SEC. Let's, let's give them that. Tennessee has some five stars as well. The problem is they're all hurt, all right? So every five star they even have sitting on the sideline, bands is up, it's sad to watch, but that's what they've got, all right? So then you go down Tennessee's line, you've got a five star, goes to a four star, which is still pretty good. The problem is you go three deep, drops off to a two star. That's basically what you have, all right? So now here's where the mathematical formula takes place. You've got a five star starting against a four star, best case scenario. So here you've got five times a four. You've got the second string five star coming in. Now what you're looking at is you have this guy playing at 60% of the game. This guy plays the other 40% of the game. You have 100% maximum effort the whole game. You've got this guy playing 60%. Now you've got this guy playing at 40%. This poor guy is at 60%. We won't even put into the formula the two star. All right, we're just gonna leave it at the four star. This guy never even sees the field. You've got a five star cheering 100% of the game against a bunch of two star guys cheering. So that alone makes it pretty significant math, mathematically impossible. But let's stick with this formula, all right? You've got 100% times 60%, here we go, equals 0% chance of a win from Tennessee this weekend or any other weekend in the near future. Therefore, it is a mathematical impossibility. Roll tight. Okay, wait, wait, just a second. Are you saying that there is absolutely no way Tennessee could, out, could, could even be in the game at this point. All right. Is there any other way? That's a good point. Um, actually, there is. All right, here's the situation for Tennessee this weekend. This becomes a big fat W for Tennessee if what I'm calling the 2016 Tennessee factor takes place, which would be basically this. A blimp flies over Neyland Stadium, dropping 1,000 pounds of pixie dust onto the field. You could have a big W for the big orange. Go Vols.